Um, I'm about to be fully cleared in a couple weeks uh, to get ready to start stuff soon. Um, but I'm almost there. No. To let teams know that you know they see the they see the, the football person on film, but let people know the mental side of the game. Uh, let let people know you know I'm a great mind as well as a great player. Right. And then just as far as special teams, I know talking with one scout, he said, you know, we really hadn't played a lot of special teams. Where does your mindset uh, with special teams as far as willingness and what you be able to do? So whatever the team wants me to do. You know, at Georgia, they didn't ask me to play special teams. That wasn't my job. So I go to an NFL team, and it's my job to play special teams. That's what I'm going to do to help the team win. As far as the guys coming back to the smart players, the guys that you worked with, you mentioned George Pickens and Any other guys you think you see a lot of improvement from? Uh, I think Matt Landers will have a big year. Um, just him focusing. Uh, he's been working hard as, as I've seen him when I'm, when I'm in rehab. Um, and then uh, a couple freshmen coming in. Um, Don Blaylock coming from coming from uh, injury. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be a beast. Uh, he's attacking with a, with a crazy mindset. I see him in rehab every day. And yeah, I was gonna ask you, how is he coming along and dealing with it? You've been through this yourself. Have you been able to help him? And what advice have you been giving Dom? Yeah, Dom Dom is Dom is coming along great. Um, it's like it's like it's the normal thing. Dom still has the same mindset that he, that he did before he got hurt. He's gonna grind. Um, you know, I've just been there in case he needs anything, which he really has. And he's, he's been doing his own work and, and been grinding, and he's and he's going he's going to be great. What would you tell NFL teams about Jake Fromm? I'm, I'm sure they will ask you about Jake. Obviously, you worked with Jake last season. I think he completed over 70 percent of his passes with you on the field. Right. Uh, that you know, Jake. Whatever doubts you have about Jake, they probably not they're probably not correct. Jake is probably I would say he's probably the best quarterback I've, I've played with. Uh, he definitely is the best quarterback I've played with. Uh, he's probably he's probably if I had to be biased to say he's the best quarterback in the draft. Um, his leadership is the way he you know way he commands the offense, the way he takes over a team. Um, his day his, his day to day grind, uh, second to none. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than a quarterback. You came into Georgia and had a seamless transition. What advice would you give Trey McKinney and Jamie Moon? Just coming with a mindset, ready to work. Uh, you can't come in the mindset, well, I got this amount of time, because you don't. You, know, you got to come in from day one, even before you get there. Um, you know, hit up coach every day, talk about some install, install, install. That's what mainly I was doing. Uh, it, it, so when I, once I touched the field in the summer, it was a smooth transition. That was day for work. Have you had a chance to meet Jamie Newman yet? Has he been around? So yeah, yeah. Me, I, 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 I kind of was trying to tell Jamie to come to Georgia when he was uh, in, the, in the portal because uh, I knew what type of what type of player he was and what type of team we would, uh, Georgia would be next year with, with him at quarterback. So you were, one of, you were one of the recruiters. Chris, you came from the ACC and did well. What did you think was the important thing that, that Jamie realized about Georgia when he said he told him out was? What were some of the things that you emphasized about your experience? And, uh, I just told them how you know the fans would accept it. Um, you know some some programs fan acceptance is kind of weird, uh, but I told you that, I told them basically the atmosphere at, at Georgia is unreal. It's a family. Um, Matthew would love Athens. Uh, you know, I've been I'm still I'm still there right now until I'm healthy. Um, and it, it's just second to none, and you, you can't ask for a better experience. What did the fan support mean to you? Because you, you did the whole rising from the dead thing. <laughs> we were injured. We didn't think you were going to play again. What did the fans influence that comeback, and what did it mean to have that support? Uh, I really just think it was a, it was a me thing. I just wanted to have some fun on Twitter, you know, uh, let people know that, you know, hey, I'm still here. Um, but, you know, it was just all fun and games. But, you know, the fans are – they love it, and um, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect it to be that to become that big, but you know, it was a thing, and that was hilarious. Yeah, well, I said it was good stuff. As far as the injuries, you had the ribs, you had the shoulder. Where are the ribs and the shoulder now? Do you feel like those are all the way back, and it's just the ankle that you're dealing with? Yeah, my ribs and my shoulder are completely fine. It's really just my ankle I've been dealing with. Um, you know, that was the obvious injury at the end of the year. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm completely healed from those other injuries that were, you know, nagging me during the season. And that was a broken ankle. Yeah. Right. And, when did, and I remember the surgery. When were you running again? I saw a video of you running. Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, you've been back running. Is there a projection time when you, when they say you're going to be? Um, you know, I'll probably I'll do some I'll do some drills at uh, pro day. 
Uh, and I brought, probably won't do every drill, but I'll do some drills at Pro Day. Just plan to have my own Pro Day in, uh, in uh, April. Right. So you won't do it with George, you'll do your own separate? Well, saying? I'll do some drills at our Pro Day, but I'll have my own Pro Day to run a 40s. Okay. Right. What, what has this last couple months been like for you as far as the rehab, sticking around the building? Is this, how would you describe your mindset for it now? Um, it's, it's a mental game right now. You know, just, you're not, you're not, you're not able to train. You're not able to, you know, to do everything that you envisioned at the end of the season that you were going to do, preparing for the, you know, the combine and the draft. So really, it's, you know, all mental as well as physical. Um, staying, staying, in, staying in as much as you can. Preparing for these meetings. Um, preparing for, you know, my pro day in April. Preparing, to, you know, to keep grinding, and that's that's my whole, excuse me, that's my whole model, my whole mindset, and I've, you know, been dealing with adversity since I was born. This, this last season, all the success that you had, how much did that do for you? your confidence. I mean, you've always had ability to actually do all those things on the field. Where does it raise your ceiling as far as your thoughts for the NFL and what you can do at the next level? Um, I know my ceiling at the NFL is high. Um, I know as, as much as I work this year, I got to work 10 times harder every year, you know, to be able to be able to compete in the NFL and I'm willing to do that. I'm ready to do that. I can't wait to do that. can't wait to be back healthy to, you know, to start getting back to work. Um, so, you know, I always, I've always been a confident person in myself. And I just found my, you know, got my groove back this year. So I, I can't wait to come back.